banned from her films at Lana Premiere, banned from the cast table at the Oscars, banned from a burial in her cemetery of choice. Today, Hattie McDaniel is a beloved Hollywood icon, but her life was a different story. Born in 1893 to formerly enslaved parents, Hattie McDaniel made her mark in history when she won the 1940 Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Even so, the star's life was far from easy. As a black woman, McDaniel's career was fraught with bigotry and intolerance. She began performing while she was still in high school. By the 1920s, she was touring the vaudeville circuit and appearing in minstrel shows. McDaniel made her way to Los Angeles in the 1930s, where she quickly gained a reputation for portraying defiant servants in Hollywood films. Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. <laughs> Although she experienced backlash for taking on stereotypical roles, the actress proudly stated that I'd rather play a maid than be one. In 1937, McDaniel was cast as Mammy in Gone with the Wind after Bing Crosby suggested her to producer David O. Selznick. Ultimately, the film changed her life and cemented her place in cinema history. On February 29, 1940, McDaniel became the first African American to win an Oscar. Yes, I know. You never expected to see me. Because of the color of her skin, she was nearly barred from attending the award ceremony. In the end, she was able to go as long as she sat away from her white co-stars, Clark Gable and Vivian Lee. It ain't fitting. It just ain't fitting. Upon receiving her award, McDaniel said, I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. Gone with the Wind was one of the most successful productions in Hollywood history. It racked up eight competitive Academy Awards, plus two honorary Oscars. The film was the top box office earner for some 30 years, even with an almost four-hour running time. However, McDaniel's Oscar win did little to enhance her career. Although she believed it would lead her to better, less archetypal roles, that was not the case. According to Vanity Fair, she lacked the support of the Black community, as they believed the parts she took were degrading. Ultimately, she was unable to find film work and made the decision to return to radio, where she'd worked in the early 1930s. In 1947, McDaniel once again made history when she became the first black star on The Beulah Show. Don't let nobody tell you that I'm in the market for a husband. Of course I would be, but they don't sell husbands in the market. Sadly, this was the beginning of the end for the actress. She fell ill not long after the show's premiere, McDaniel had a heart attack and was subsequently diagnosed with breast cancer. On October 26, 1952, 59-year-old Hattie McDaniel died. Her last wishes were to be buried at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and for her Oscar to be donated to Howard University, a prestigious, historically black institution. Hollywood Forever was founded in 1899 and is located on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles. The cemetery is known for being the final resting place of numerous stars, including Rudolph Valentino. In 1939, the Hollywood Forever Cemetery was purchased by Jules Roth. He prohibited people of color from being buried on the grounds, and thus, he refused McDaniel's final request. As a result, she was buried at the Angeles Rosedale Cemetery, where her funeral was attended by thousands. Roth died in 1998, after which Hollywood Forever was purchased by Tyler Cassidy. Cassidy asked McDaniel's family if they wanted to move her remains to the cemetery, but they declined. Instead, they chose to erect a pink granite memorial in her honor. The memorial was unveiled in October 1999, nearly 50 years after McDaniel's death. The obelisk reads, Aunt Hattie, you are a credit to your craft, your race, and to your family. The quote is from Edgar Goff, McDaniel's grandnephew. As for her other final request, her Oscar did eventually make it to Howard University. However, the award was lost sometime in the 1960s and remains unaccounted for to this day. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.